Hey guys, sorry for the inflammatory title. I think I was watching Mike Graves versus Vincent Luque from the ATT versus Black Zillions Ultimate Fighter finale before taping this video. And one thing really stood out to me. Graves took Luque down at will using head outside singles, sometimes called a uh, high crotch or high seat. Traditional thinking tells us never to shoot with our head to the outside. The risk of the guillotine is just too high. But I've disagreed with that wisdom before, and Mike's technique convinced me to do it again. So let's examine the head outside single a little more closely and talk about the keys to success for some of my favorite finishes. First finish, run the pipe. Hips in and head up on the shot. I say this for every shot and, and it's exactly true for this one as well. Now, once you get in, drive him away from you. Here I like to threaten the double leg finish. I get my opponent driving back into me and that's, boom, we hit run the pipe. Plant your inside foot, the one that's between your opponent's legs. Pivot your whole body approximately 90 degrees away from your opponent. Here it's important to keep a tight lock on his leg while you pivot. We don't want any separation, no space. Now, and this is the hard part of the finish, pull his leg between your legs, not just to the side. This is where the name Run the Pipes come from. comes from. I like to compare it to hiking a football. Second finish, the lift. This is the money finish. Flashy, explosive, and utterly devastating. Again, get your hips in and head up on the shot. Turn the corner and sink your outside arm deep between your opponent's legs. Use your arms like a table under his upper thigh and be sure to lift with your legs, of course. All right, last finish, taking the back. This one's hard to get against the better guy, but the nice thing about it is it's low effort and you end up in a very dominant position. Turn the corner hard and try to catch his far hip bone. If you try to go straight for the reverse body lock, you'll have a better chance of countering, better chance to escape. Much better or much safer for you to grab that nice handle on the hip bone and then progress to the body lock. Snake your leg between his and block his far leg from stepping backwards. This is a little counterintuitive, but that's how the trip actually works. So we cinch everything tight and we drive hop our bottom or our front hip to the mat. As we're falling to the mat, secure your figure four and from here, devastate your opponent. Like I said, hard to get, but such a dominant position. All right, there it is. Hope you guys like these techniques and I hope it'll inspire some people to reconsider the viability of head outside shots in a combat situation. Of course, there's always a time and a place for everything. As always, leave your feedback in the comments and we'll be back soon with some more cool techniques.